I'm Andrea, standing in for Lisa from the media team today, here with task setter Toby Geiger. Now, Toby, tell me a little bit about how yesterday went, first of all. Yeah. Well, yesterday we set um, fairly ambitious tasks. And um, we were sort of uh, hoping that the tasks would be right um, for the day and not too ambitious. And uh, it took a long time before we could really see, yes, they're, they're getting home and the vast majority of the pilots got home. And um, the, the feedback that I got from me was that the tasks were pretty much spot on on the length that the day was going. So I'm quite pleased with, with that. Uh, but it was certainly uh, a hard task for all classes yesterday. It was no easy feat and they really had to work hard, which it's a world gliding championship. So that's what we want to achieve. That's right. And the weather's uh, a bit up and down at the moment. What, what are we looking at today? Yeah, today could be a really pleasant day, actually. Um, so we're expecting the, the thermals to go very high um, in the far north of the contest area. We're expecting cumulus starts today with cloud bases probably around about 10, 11,000 feet. Um, so the classes that will go north today, they will catch up with the queues. Unless they wait too long and play the start game, then the queues will have disappeared on them. So let's uh, hope they get the hint with the length of the task today. So we're setting a 750 meter, a 750 kilometer task for open class today because the weather looks really strong in the north. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's hopefully have uh, many pilots coming back with a grin on their face about how good the weather can be here. That's right, and they might even get to use their oxygen today for the first time. We'll see. They <laughs> should use their oxygen today because it's not just the the pure altitude that they're flying in, but also due to the heat, the uh, pressure altitude is actually even higher. So the the use of oxygen today is, I would recommend it even as low as 5,000 feet just to, to keep fresh. Okay. And a lot of pilots adopt that these days, that they use the oxygen a lot earlier than they are legally required to, just because it gives them a bit more brain power. Okay. Let's go into a bit more detail about the tasks. Yeah. What have you got for each of the classes? So for the 18 metre and open class, so uh, with the, the long wings, we want to get them into the area today where there is cloud, um, because cloud flying, or the, not cloud flying, flying when there is cumulus cloud, uh, typically disperses off the gaggles. So in the blue weather, they all tend to gaggle together, but once there's cloud, they make more individual decisions, and that should spread out the, the gaggles. And that's the intention that those two classes today really fly on the cloud, gaggles dispersed, uh, have a lot of fun, and then come home with a smile on their face. So for 18 meter class going first, um, we send them on an AAT, so it's assigned areas where they pick their own turning points inside a, an area, and that is uh, they get to furthest to the northeast where there is potential for overdevelopment, so they have the opportunity to avoid overdevelopment should it occur. Sort of the, the weather men and women are not quite clear whether it's overdeveloping there or not, so from a tasking perspective, we have to accommodate that. And 15 metre. 15 metre will get the pleasure to fly to the west today. So we have a weather pattern whereby we have strong conditions in the north and strong conditions in the west. The west, though, is not uh, expected to produce cumulus clouds today. But with the 15 metre being at the back of the grid and uh, having the heaviest workload yesterday with gaggling, um, we have a slightly shorter task for them today um, in, into the west and uh, hopefully um, I would think they get around their task in three and a half, four hours today, so it shouldn't be such a long day for them today. It's a bit more of a racing task for 15 metre class today. Okay, That's, looking forward to that. Yeah, now, so what are our prospects for the next few days, weather-wise? Mm. Well, for the next few days, um, we're expecting a trough to go through overnight. It's going to be a, a dry trough, so we're not expecting any rain. Um, but the weather conditions tomorrow will be back to blue and lower and cooler. So tomorrow is probably not such a fantastic day um, and then the day after we see a, a build up again. So uh, tomorrow should be a really good, strong, fast, fun day for the pilots and then uh, tomorrow we'll be back to more uh, subdued conditions. Okay, well thanks very much for the information. Task setter Toby Geiger.